yes yes and yes you read that correctly i got another job in the uk it's fully remote which means i get to work from home i don't have anything to do with any office i'm not going to any office every meeting the job itself everything is fully remote so i work from home every time that's why we're here today you know to talk about how i got the job the job description and everything relating to the job so if this is what you like to see please stick with me till the end of the video hey guys welcome back to our youtube channel this is the fab family my name is Oluwa Femi Shoali and people love to call me fab daddy so my wife is not here today because she has you know school stuff to deal with school runs assignments assessments projects or what do they call it <laughs> you know and work so i'm so sorry for you guys you are stuck with me for today so let's jump right into the video one of um our subscribers that just came into the uk december the wife is a student at the university of derby resuming january but they came in december earlier the husband got a job as an engineer no warehouse no cleaning no you know no side hustle straight up as an engineer a very good job very good pay and it comes with a car but he gets to pay for the car it's not like they're dashing in the car you know it's like you know car loan i think it's called a car loan so he gets to um, there's a certain deduction that comes off his salary at the end of every month for the car so it's a car loan you know very amazing so you don't really have to do you know these small jobs or all these many other jobs as you like to call it you know before you can get the kind of job you want and i know that for a lot of people this is the kind of job they want i mean this remote job might not be as a customer service advisor might be something else might be as a data analyst you know this kind of remote jobs a lot of people are really looking forward to that for a lot of reasons this fully remote job that i got is as a um, customer service representative some people like to call it customer service advisor or customer rep, you know, customer service. Yeah, any, any name you want to give to it. And it is with a bank in the UK, one of the leading banks in the UK. Pull up, pull up. A lot of people, when they hear that you work in a bank, they feel like ah, you, now you bloom, like now you have money. You know, all the money in the bank is what they are giving you as, <laughs> as your salary. <laughs> But really, that's not the case. It's just a regular job, customer service advisor. So we'll go into details of how I got the job first, then the job description, you know, and everything relating to it. So how I got the job was, I remember when I posted my experience on working in a warehouse in the UK, you know, um, a lot of subscribers, you know, out of the, uh, goodness or kindness, posted in the comment section that, I should look to get um, remote jobs. They are better than warehouse jobs. You know, you get to work from home, less stress. Um, there's no issue of transportation and all of that, you know. But the thing is, even before that time, I was already looking out for some of these jobs, you get. And what I tell people is, as much as you search for jobs, if there's nothing you are doing presently, just get something to do. Pending the time, you know, you get reply or response from all these other jobs. A lot of jobs we apply for online from total jobs from Indeed, you don't get to start them immediately. For I think most of them, in my case, most of them, because there's a process. You will do interview, for some you will do another interview. Then if you pass, if you pass all the stages, they will now set the resumption time. I remember there was one the resumption time was in maybe five weeks time or six weeks time at the time. So what do I get to do for five weeks? What do I get to do for six weeks? So it's not as if when looking out for these jobs or went applying, but it was the one that came in first that we grabbed, you know, and I love the job. You get so this is not to say I hate my warehouse job or I'm desperately looking to leave. It's just because I applied for this um remote job even before I got the warehouse job. You get but the reply came in late, the interview came in later. Then the resumption time came in much later, you know. I couldn't be idle for that period. So I continued with the warehouse job. And thankfully, the remote job, do I, do I call it remote job or customer service job? The customer service job came through. 
you know and i'm very glad i'm very happy I'm very grateful to god you know that's clicking so just briefly the customer service job was one of the jobs i applied for online i think i applied for it on indeed i think i'm not so sure i'm sure it was online but i can't really remember the platform i think it was indeed you know and it came through and to also mention i didn't get the job directly you know a lot of jobs in the uk they say temporary to permanent or mostly for the ones you go in through the recruitment agencies so this is one of them i went in through a recruitment agency it wasn't directly you know so it's it's like i work for the bank through the agency i think i should just put it that way and for a lot of you guys in the uk i'm sure you understand so after a while if you are good enough at a job you know the institution can decide to retain you or to move you to a permanent role so you will no longer be with the agency you will now be with the institution directly so this is the case now the job description is i think is easy to relate with customer service representative you receive calls you just uh, talk with customers if they have queries you resolve their queries if they have issues you know if it's something beyond what you are trained to handle then you know you move it to the correct department i think it's just basic that's what i'm saying that i just mentioned the bank so you have an idea but it's just like a regular job it's not as if you know the pay is over the roof or um i've now moved into the high earning class no that's not the case and i should also say that that doesn't mean that because i have this job now then i should relax or i should relent you get for a lot of people myself inclusive you know there's a goal there is the kind of job you really want to do. There's a field you really want to work. There's a career you really want to pursue. And until you get to that stage of your life, you know, you cannot relent. You know, you need to keep applying. You need to keep pursuing. You know, even if you get that your dream job, there's always a higher level. You get a lot of us, the next available job, so far it is better than the one we are doing currently, we move. A lot of things we consider you know things like the pay you know the job description the things surrounding the job how it will affect my family the time constraints and all of that before we decide to accept a job for me because this is a kind of job that i have not done before in the uk you know and i'm sure that this question will be in the minds of a lot of people that okay now that i have a remote job you know I don't have to go to work. What happens to my warehouse job? Yes, so I did not quit my warehouse job. I did not. But what I did was, because this is a kind of job that I have not done before in the UK, I don't have the experience. I don't know how it will feel like. I don't know if it's, a job that I would like or that I'll be able to cope with. So what I did was because the job was a full-time job, you know, if it was a part-time job, then maybe I would have started with part-time. If it's something I really wanted to do, I would move into full-time. But there was no option of part-time, it was full-time. So I accepted it as a full-time job. Then with my warehouse, I moved into a part-time role. And the funny thing is, at my warehouse, there's no part-time role. You know, it's basically full time. So students don't even work there because there's no part time, it's full time. But because. Should I hide myself? Let me hide myself. So, because um, my supervisors and my managers, they know me well. You know, they like the way I work. They, I mean, there's always uh, this efficiency rating that they use, peak rate efficiency rating. They know that, you know, I'm up there. So they really, really like me. You know, so when I put it out that I wanted to move to part-time, you know, explain some things to them, and they really understood. The, the following week, I was moved to part-time. Like, no story. You know, maybe if it was someone else, they would have said, oh, we are sorry, unfortunately, we don't have part-time, you know, we have to let you go. When you are fully sorted, you can come back and all of that, you know, no. But my case, you know, I'm really, really grateful for that. So, I was moved to part-time in my warehouse, then for... The customer service representative um, job. The customers, I think it's because I'm just starting it. I don't know what name to call it. The customer service job. The customer service job, you know, full time.
then my warehouse part-time so i'm trying to combine the two then after a while knowing my warehouse job fully then understanding the customer service job fully i can now decide which one i want to go into full-time and cut the other one off if i can you know continue doing the two then of course why not but if i can't you know there's a limit to what the body can take you know if i can't um, i think i'll just have to cut one off but we'll just have to hold on on that so i'd like to say this for our friends that are coming into the uk you know especially the ones that are coming into the uk this period but as regards to this you know job matter i know a lot of you guys have reached out to me you know as regards to this job matter you can get the job you want firsthand you feel me you don't have to maybe do other jobs before you get the one you want and i just gave an instance of someone who came in and got an engineering job immediately so you can get that job that you want but if it doesn't come immediately, if there's anything you find doing, please do. Please, you cannot afford to be idle. Like I still told someone two days ago, every day counts. Here, every day counts. One of my friends, I will, he will tell me that if you miss a day's work, it will feel like you are owing somebody. You get so I now walk around with that consciousness that if I miss a day's work, it feels like I'm owing somebody. You get so if. Um, the kind of job you get at first, you don't really like it. Just endure, keep applying, keep pushing. That one that you want, you will get it definitely. So far, you don't relent. So far, you don't give up. You get it definitely. And saying a good job is open to definition. For me, my warehouse job is a good job for me. It's a very good job for me. And those that are close to me will understand that. So that's just the updates at this time. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for subscribing. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, the thank you is not for you. Subscribe first. Then when we come in next week, I can thank you for subscribing. So until next time, it will be.